Are you guessing? Did you make this or no? I, I made it, yeah. Guy came up to us to solicit his CD. I didn't know people still did that, but since he's here, we might as well share the gospel with him, right? Young man bold enough to come up and try to hustle the CD. Jeez. Love to have him as a soldier. I'm on the social media right now, so if you send me a message, I'll, I'll check out what you're doing, man. Like, I got a passive addiction. If you listen to my music, you'll hear about a passive addiction. You'll hear about a pa passive depression, about uh, being in the streets, just living a life real broken. Would you, would you would you agree there's a lot of that in the world? Yeah, there's a lot of that in the world. A lot of that in the world. Well, originally... Just tap it. Originally, God had a perfect design in this world where there was no brokenness, okay? But what happened was people named Adam and Eve, you might have heard of them, they chose to sin, which led us into this brokenness. So, what God did as a result to save us from our brokenness is he sent his son, his son Jesus. You, you might have heard of him. This dude came down to earth, died on a cross, buried in a tomb, rose from the dead, and one day he's coming back. So as you see here in this graph, this is where we at, this is how it started, this is how we get back to God's love and purpose for our lives. We gotta turn and follow turn from our brokenness and follow Jesus. And then we end up growing with people in our lives that help us direct us on the right path. This is actually how I started doing music because I was stuck in a suicidal place. When this man started, when I started hanging out with Trey, who was a mentor of mine, I was carrying a pistol on me illegally. I was smoking daily. I was drinking daily. I was really living suicidal. I was ready to take all the life from my depression, anxiety, being broke and just being hopeless. But that's when I decided to turn from my brokenness and follow Jesus, and my whole life changed radically. So if I was to ask you today where you were at, would you say that you're near or far from God? Uh, I would say I'm near from, I'm near to God. You're near? So let me ask you this, have you made the decision to turn from your brokenness and follow Jesus? Yeah, I, I follow Jesus. You do? Okay. Do you have people in your life that help you grow? in your relationship with God? Yeah, I do. You do? That's good. Do you have, what about four? Do you have uh, places that you go to help inspire other people with the gifts and talents God has given you? Share the message. Yeah, share the message. So you tell, in your music and stuff, you tell the message about God's love and his hope? I mean, I do it in like metaphor, I guess. In metaphor, okay. Yeah, I'm asking because that, that's what my music, I, I used to want to be rich and famous with the music, you know, like the jewelry, the tattoos, all the stuff, but I realized that I could actually still have all that stuff and still be depressed and still be drug addicted and still be hating my life, even with money in the bank and with jewelry on my wrist and skin full of tattoos and a new car and new clothes and all that stuff. I thought that stuff was going to bring me joy and fame. I started getting thousands of followers and people would recognize me at the mall, but I realized that that didn't bring me the true fulfillment that only God can bring me. So when I realized that, it changed my perspective to stop chasing what the world can offer me. That's why it worries me when I hear you say something like, oh, I make stuff that other people like because at the end of the day, man, you got to stay true to what God has put on your heart and not do anything to please other people because you will never end up really fulfilling your special purpose on earth if you're worried about pleasing other people, you know, and doing other stuff because a lot of people are going to like you to do a lot of things that maybe that's not what God has called you to do. So I, I came to that realization the hard way by learning some really hard lessons in my life and I started getting mentored by men like him to help you know, kind of direct me in my relationship with God. Because I was similar to you. I said I, I said I know Jesus, I said I know God, but nobody saw him in my life. You wouldn't hear about him in my music. You wouldn't hear about him if you looked at my day-to-day -day life, or if you looked at my bank account or my internet search history. So it's like, at what level is it really real if, mm. if it don't show up in my life? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know if that's just rambling to you, but you know what I'm saying? Uh, I say all that to say, man, if, if you're if you're at a place where you could use some people to help. Is church right here? Yeah, I like that. I like that. That's dope. So it's I had like, to hear about. It's like, man, it's like imagery. Yeah. To like it's, 
but what I'm saying is when I ask you just quick what your music about, you like, I guess it's positive, uplifting, uh, what people want to hear. I'm like, that ain't direct. You don't, you ain't sold. You don't even know why you're doing it. You, you ain't even sure about your music. You said, I guess. is. I'm like, you guess? Did you make it? Because if you made it, what you guessing for? See what I'm saying? That, But that only comes from, a, I'm not trying to knock you. I'm just saying that comes out of confidence of really knowing who you are, who God called you to be, and, and the lane that he called you to walk in. Because when you walk and you know you know your purpose and you know you're walking in your lane, you ain't, I guess is this, I guess is that. You know for a fact what you're doing. You tell me with some confidence, this is what I do. This is who I do it for. You see what I'm saying? That's not what I heard over there. That's not what I was hearing. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying? I hear what you're saying. You saw it. <laughs> That's cool. I'm not. I can say I'm not trying to knock you. How old are you, man? I'm 23. 23. Okay, you from here? I'm from Oceanside. What's that? It's in Houston, California. Okay, go. How long you been out in Houston? 18 years. 18 years? Okay, so this home to you. What high school you graduated from? Pine Forest. Pine Forest, okay. What part of town you stay oh, well. now? Uh, like the east side, like the north east side. The north east, okay, bad. Well, the reason that I'm even taking the time to share all this with you is because I'm constantly looking for young men that I believe are good soil to, to learn about their identity in Christ and, and grow deeper in their purpose. So if that's something that you are interested in doing, learning from me, me sharing some of my story, you know, I'm not as concerned about hearing about the music right now as I am the spiritual. Because there's a lot of talented rappers. I, I don't just look to be involved with people that just want to blow up and get famous and get rich off music. But if, I'm, if I ever run across a young man that wants to grow spiritually, then I, that's something that I'm interested in. That's why I took the time to sit and talk to you. So if that's something you're interested in, bro, we, we can stay in touch with each other. I mean, I guess I'm interested in that. You are? Yeah. Okay. Then you got my IG. I'm off Instagram for a couple of days. Um, what I'll actually do is I'll even, I'll give you my number right now so that you can reach out to me uh, since I'm off of social media right now. 757. And that's, that's how you do when you're an artist that cares about people. Feel me? Get the number, start discipleship. Give him his identity. Walk him through it and you never know. He could be the next soldier for Christ out here rapping for Jesus. And that's a wrap.